America, but also, Tara, how we can protect ourselves. That's right, Danita. Everything from places to go to are being made up by scammers who are just in this to make a quick buck. So I talked to experts who are giving who are giving us the warning signs so you aren't the next victim. About 50,000 more people are expected on these streets during the RNC. Plans to accommodate them have been in the works for years. But so have plans to scam them. According to fraud attorney John Chapman, it's fertile ground for fraud. Limited access to events, limited access to accommodations. They're opportunities for scammers and fraudsters. It's a very exciting event, and fraudsters will take advantage of that. A main concern hotel poachers. They claim to have a block of rooms. You reserve one, show up, and you have no reservation, but you're out the cash. John said this one is notorious. You can put in your information and they will, they will reserve rooms for you in downtown Cleveland for convention week. Um, and uh, and uh, that, is, uh, that is highly, highly suspect. So this is going on right now? It's going on. It's, it's all over. There are many traps out there. Offers for special access to the convention, events, or dinners with politicians may also be suspicious. Be very skeptical. Be, uh, make sure you're doing your research. Especially before sending a group money or personal information. Don't provide personal information to somebody because they're going to get you, you know, uh, behind the scenes with Donald Trump or something. A pretty basic rule of thumb. If it sounds too good to be true, it is and walk away. Now, you can always double check an offer or an event with the RNC host committee. I also put a list of known scam websites on our website and on our Newsnet 5 app. Live in Cleveland, Tara Molina, News Channel 5. And it's no 